because it's going to... Hello. <gasps> that worked so fast. <laughs> it was so fast and easy. Wait, can we just... Are you dying? I'm dying. I, I mean, can't like, believe this is the day. This is the day. The day you of. are here. Day of. Day of, day of. We love to see it. Oh, my God. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so, like... I, it's funny that this is our first time like face to face even though we're not even no, and i'm like I know. I know i know but i'm like i know you like wait oh my god wait, hello all I? guys oh my hello is that a dreidel on your neck uh no oh, but my yeah. eyes. Kinda. Okay. what's going this on this is the right? cutest view where oh my god oh, how's it going that, how does this even work uh, how internet. how did is, are you the first person ever to go a trip <laughs> live? Not at all. But I mean, I think this was just like I I could not think of two people that I would want to cook with more. I feel like you two of being like not in the food world and just being like bop creators are the most like engaged with food people. Like every food person I know knows that you two are like cooking fanatics. I don't oh. feel that way about me, but Benny is that, that is Benny, but I can't believe you just said that and I'm a part of this call. <laughs> you're, you're, you are the, you're the whole thing, Gracie. No, you're you, the whole thing. You you're make the, the world go round. No, you, you, you. I keep uh -huh. eating like, cause of the, no, I don't know if I'm spoiling or anything, but because of the dip that we're making, I like, keep eating the little bits that are like I mean the little bits are the best the best I, I'm, a, the I'm a little bits eater yo I'll tell you one thing that cabbage I make daily now the one wait what cabbage your the, cabbage the pickle your... juice cabbage oh my it god unreal I'm, I'm so honored okay let me get I'm gonna pull up the we can we can it's literally when I tell you my mother I mean typical like Jewish mother she refuses to throw out anything oh and, I'm looking at it right now Please. yeah 115 I know it's gorgeous it's incredible we're having a little book club now I'm actually really honored yeah I'm, I I'm literally I want to put this with like in a great sandwich it's, mm. it's really it's really fucking incredible I uh, <laughs> I was I was rushing. I did. Me and Gracie had a very difference of opinion on <laughs> caramelized onions and leeks. Her, okay. I, I, I look. I, you I, clearly I, won because yours are darker. So that's just <laughs> it's whatever. Caramelized I, I caramelized is when they're the dark ones, right? Yeah, yeah, but I just was tasting it, and I was like, "This is this is caramel. This is." Gracie, this I'd, is like, <laughs> I'd like Gracie. I'd like you to show yours on camera. Okay, at first I'm letting my puppy in, and then this will be the least, I mean, most dysfunctional moment, and then I'm hi. Wink. I'm upset. Um, uh, okay. I, well, I went no, for, like the classic yours. jammy onions. Uh, perfection, perfection. Okay, That's... yeah, mine are like this. That's still gonna work. It's again. He's so, like, get off the listen, line right now. No. Yeah. So this is the one act of Jewishness that we're going to really throw in. Y'all know Dayenu from Seder, right? Of yeah. course. So do you know what it means? Nope. No, I just go. know I mean, that you go die, die. Exactly. So Dayenu literally means it would have been enough. And the whole song is talking about like different aspects of the Exodus. Like if any one of those miracles happened, it would have been enough. And That's I just important. like. It's it is, and I'm like not very religious, but I think that aspect of like your, your onions are a little less caramelized. Dainu, like Dainu. truly, yeah. whatever. Say that careful what you teach me, because your penis is a little too small. Dainu, Dainu, Dainu. Okay, are you ready to make um, some latkes? Yeah, yeah let's I'm do it. so excited. <laughs> Power on. Okay, I, I, I. I started my process a little bit. I great. I, I got my potatoes going. On. That's okay, good. Well, guess no, who didn't? Fine. Me. I didn't either. I'm gonna start grading. So we have a pound of potatoes. I mean, I love how you. Did you think eight p potatoes was a pound? Yep. I also <laughs> did. I did. For me, I'm just one guy, so I did less. I didn't want to do. I didn't want to. I didn't want to spoil things. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it proportional to what to what I got. How many going. potatoes did you do? Uh, I think I did like four, okay. and then no, you're normal. That's that's, that's right. normal. I, I went wild, and I'm not doing all eight. I only did three, and I also have a food processor. And I think I don't know. Is that cheating? Oh that's no, not cheating. no, that's great. That's okay. great. We have to we have to grate yes. onion as well, right? Yes, that's the that's the flavor. You got to add the onion. Oh my. 
I'm my. I, I wonder if my mom's watching because we make we make our latkes a very specific way too. How how do you make your latkes? I do. I so what I do is I save a little. Sorry, wait, wait. <laughs> what'd you, you say? The, do you have the grating attachment on? Yes. Okay, and is and the blades out right? Yep. Of uh, okay. So my little trick that I do is I uh -huh. take. I take a little bit of the water that you squeeze out of the potatoes, okay? Yeah. And I put it in a bowl and I mix it up with potato starch. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you a little hack because that's actually a hundred percent like that is the secret to extra crisp. Wait, what wait, you do the same thing? So you don't actually need to add in by potato starch. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the liquid. You oh, can actually Oh, at the bottom of the bowl. Gracie knows. She knows what's good. Oh, I'm my fine. God. I'm not going to lie. I'm fine. I mean, this is great. So, so I got Oh, and this is, and, and happy birthday, Benny. Oh, this my is, God. This is, we could put a candle in your latkes. I yeah. know. Oh, my God, guys. I'm, I'm literally, <laughs> there's, tear, there's tears coming down my eyes. <laughs> Okay. This is so cool. You know, I've never even watched one. I've never watched. I, I'm not like a very live person, so I've uh -huh. never even like seen the things happen. Like, like, do, do people like watching these? Like, do you watch? They them? love it. Okay, they I, love it. I love it because I I watch all the pre-recorded ones. I never watch like the full-blown lives. I love them. The, do you know who got me into them? Katie yeah. Kirk started doing it at the beginning of quarantine where she just talked, she just interviewed people like she was still like, oh, uh, just, just alive. Yours, um, yours are the only ones I've ever watched. Really? Do you watch well, the, first, so, of all, first of all, when you did it with Michael, the, the, you guys are like, that's like two heroes colliding. <laughs> Oh, love, I was like, so okay, much. I get it. You guys are perfect. Okay, oh. I've been so invested in this food process. I now have my, I'm listening again. And I, can I ask a question? Oh my God, your introduction made me cry. This is like, all I wanted was people to kind of see the celebration of like Jewish identity that's accessible and works for them. I'm like, I mean, I'm not kosher. I'm not any of these things, but I wanted to just like celebrate some awesome food that I grew up eating. And that's really awesome. I think the, the bitter part of it is that like so much of this book is rooted in like Jewish hospitality and throwing Shabbat and big parties and right. to not be able to see people. It's, it's a bummer. But I mean, the best part is, is now everyone's home. So like, I could be making latkes with you too. And who knows if that would have been possible if we weren't in a pandemic. Yeah, I also feel like, I don't know, I, I was just talking to someone today on a Zoom about like how as of the past week, based on like the speed at which vaccines are becoming more available, that they felt like hope about yeah. I'm this week. And so I don't know, maybe... I It literally feels like it for me, so selfishly, I'm I'm so excited. I love it. That means the world. So you got it. So once you have everything graded, you're gonna throw it into a bowl um, lined with a towel or cheesecloth. Amazing. Perfect. And now, and now, how do you how do you how do you like your vodkas? What what's your onion to potato ratio for yourself? I like a good amount of onion. I typically say for a pound of potatoes, a quarter of an onion. Sometimes I do a little more. Sometimes I throw yeah. in random shit. Like I think there's, I think you don't have to be too precious with any of this. Like if you want to like throw something else into your latka, go for it. One oh, of my yes. favorite things I started doing because of my husband being Persian Iraqi was adding saffron to the latka mixture. Oh my God. And that was a game changer. <laughs> Incredible.
my potato <laughs> mixture. This is going over one bowl, and then this is the bowl in which I'm going to throw the squeezed potatoes into. Got it. Okay, sounds good. All right, here we go. Guys, I literally, I literally couldn't even find a towel, so I'm using a beach towel. So we're just gonna, <laughs> mine are just, we're going straight beach towel. That's it, party. Okay, hold on. I hope, uh, I hope my friends and family want some schmaltz in there. Yes. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, process like, how long does it take, or did it take you to put this book but, uh, um, so from selling it to now, it's two years because wow. it's a year to write it, do all the recipes, hundred recipes and stories, oh, and then a year to do like the photo shoot, which was wild edits, yeah. all of it to go to the printer. It truly is like, it's like a, a small, very two-year-old child. Yeah. Um, so you're saying like, you want to start making ours now. Yes. Oh, a hundred percent. You name you. You say it. We'll go to. We'll go to publishers next week of of what the Benny Blanco cookbook, Benny That's X Gracie cookbook. I wish you guys could see my towel. It's massive, <laughs> but I'm squeezing. This was always the hardest part. My grandma always used to make me do this part. Got to squeeze. I used to have to do, and all the grandchildren. She would make like hundreds of them, and all the grandchildren would have to like switch off because your hands would get so tired. Really I love the stories. You need to be telling more stories of you as a kid squeezing out Hey, I'm a potatoes. You fucker. That's <laughs> it. Now, now, Gracie, have you made latkes before? Yeah, I made them on Christmas. You made them on Christmas? Yeah, well, we do a thing. My dad's Jewish. My mom's Jewish. So we celebrate both pretty loosely. But on our Christmas tree, we put a yarmulke on top. It's like been the thing. That's so cute. You're... I made tacos on Christmas Eve, and that was my first time ever making them, but it was, like, such a hit. Uh, not that that means I'm going to be successful today, but I'm... Oh. You will be. I, and latkes are really forgiving. People are... are people, <laughs> people, people, people doubt themselves. Yeah, but you oh. squeeze it. You got it. We're good. Now throw your potatoes in a bowl, and then in another bowl, we have the juicies. Okay. Oh my God! I would have squeezed you. You would be not good in my family. In my family, we would have to have squeezed these for another good this... twenty minutes. I like yours. That's I'm great. Coming your... okay. I'm coming to yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna again. Why, Dianu? We got it. It's done. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, putting in. I got the potatoes. And then it's just like a few more ingredients. Then all we're adding in is two eggs, a quarter cup of matzo meal, and a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. All right. Let right. me go grab. Oh, I might have some old eggs here. Let's see. Yeah, I got a few old eggs. You know, eggs never go bad. It's insane. Uh. Like, no, you have. You can literally use eggs. If you can use eggs for no, months, months, months before it that's literally it nothing happens. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. How, well, yeah. How's yeah. that? How's that for a cooking show? <laughs> there you go. We're we're gonna just have we'll, we'll do like a, a YouTube video of just you eating eggs in weak increments. Of just me puking after. Okay, we're <laughs> adding eggs. Eggs, matzo meat, and salt. And all at once, right now. Yep. Boop. And then, like, sometimes, like, I get fancy. I throw in extra spices or things like that. You can get creative. But I think latkes are just, like, such a classic beauty. Yeah. Like, you really don't need – you don't need to get fancy. And then um... – Okay. I don't have matzo meal, but I'm adding a little bit of something else instead. A little – any type of starch. I'll, you could use breadcrumbs. You could use panko. You could use flour. You, yep. I see your, you could do whatever you want. I got – I got – I made it work. I did something. I don't even want to say what I did. I saw you use cornstarch. You saw what I did. I see. I see the. I I know the. I know the orange container. You know the labels. Okay. I got my salt then. Beautiful. Uh, one, two. Gracie, I like a little pepper yeah. in mine. I'm throwing. I know. I'm loving your TikTok content. Oh my god. Oh, I mean Benny, you too. Literally, I think you're you're single handedly buying half the. the one killing it all. 
Wait, I can't hear you, but did you just talk about your your dildo content? No, we're yes, talking about we're how talking good about... you are. Yes. Stop. How good your content. We love it. So this is what your latke mixture should look like. It should be pretty loose, but you can when you squeeze it, it like stays you... together. Hands? Yeah. Oh yeah, you get your hands in there. This is like it's like the it's like the what's it, ghost? It's it's where you're doing like the, the pottery. Oh but... yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. We're good. We're in business over here. All right. We got good lot cubes over here. Did your husband taste test every recipe? Oh my God, no! That would have, that would have taken three years. It would, I mean, he is the ultimate eater, the ultimate critic. He is very much so. Same vibes as like Ratatouille of him, like sitting down at the table, like very, very, very good palate tells it like it is. Um, but he's also my biggest fan, so the book okay. is for him. I did watch that nights ago again. Um, should we be Should we be turning our stove on at all? Yeah, let's get that going with a little bit of oil. Wait, are we? This is the Liquid juices. My mom says hi. Oh, hi. Hi, mom. Okay, mom. You. <laughs> uh, get her in the live. Let's get hey, her, in her in the live. This is part of the, I mean, it's, it's, it's there's nothing better than mom uh, content. So my hands are in there. It's well mixed. Next step, I'm behind. So next step is pour off, what I did is I poured off the liquid from the bowl, yep. and you should see a little layer of white starch stuck to the bottom. Yep, see it. And then you scrape that little white corn starchy stuff into the bowl and just give it a little toss. Oh, it's thick. She thick, yeah, two C's. It's, a, it's, a, it's all that potato starch, and that just helps bind it and make it super crispy. That's science. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, we got, I'm moving, I'm grooving. We're moving, we're grooving, and we're ready to f All about the like smash burger style. Yeah, I do it. I do a little flatten myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna shift. Oh. Boom. All no. right. Okay. One and two words. I'm. I'm going. I'm going in. Go in. I want to see your. I want to see the pan though. Once you drop them. Oh wow! I don't even know how to do. That. I'm not. I'm not coordinated enough. Well, I'll show you one. I'll show you once they're in. This Love angle. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put us. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. We're in. Uh. Okay. Boom. All right. We're having a good time. Lots. Oh, yeah. They're delicious. So what other dishes did you grow up having, Benny, that your, your grandmother makes really well? Uh, kugel. Great kugel. kugel. Sweet kugel? Yeah, so I saw you at, look, at my household, we're very much in on the, we're, we're huge in the sweet kugel fam. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had your mom's that one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, my mom. My mommy makes a cook. My mommy make a sweet kugel. That was the first time I ever had anything like that. What did you say? It was the first time I ever had anything like that. You're so the fakest Jew in the world. <laughs> I know, but this But that's, I know. But it. 
it's also so Ashkenazi. Like my husband, he's, he's Persian Iraqi. He never had sweet kugel before. He still to this day can't really get behind it, which is why I did the savory kugels in the book. I don't understand how people don't under, don't get it. I, it's to me, it's like it just makes sense. There's no world in which I do not want like a sweet kugel with like tons of fucking raisins. Yeah, like what? My, well, my brother never allowed the raisins. He wasn't, so we never had it with raisins. How much oil did you do? Like just bottom? So you, yeah, I do like a quarter inch. You want enough so that really the bottom side of all the latkes are submerged. Like this. Oh, I don't even know how to switch it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, okay. Uh, is grape seed you, neutral? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You just want something that has a high smoke point. Okay. Uh, yeah. What, Gracie, what's been your favorite thing you've made in quarantine? I've definitely gotten really comfortable with cookies, to be honest. Not that that's, like, cookies, Yo, but I have... Her cookies... I saw the sprinkle crazy. cookies. I, they Those are crazy. Are... Wait, Thanks. what? You gotta drop drop the recipe. I know, and I also need to I've mail you had. some. Uh, oh I my god! I hat. cannot wait. I cannot wait when this is all over, and I'll have you both for Shabbat. Like, oh my god, only... I can't wait. Okay, okay I'm, I'm turning. One of your... What are these cookie parties you do? The what? You do like these, like, they, like, almost look like cookie part. Like, you'll, like, line up a bunch of cookies and stuff. I've seen you do it. Is that you, Jake? No, I swear. I, no, 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 no. You're mixing me up. Oh, my God. You're mixing up with Grossy Pelosi. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it. it. Dan, it that's oh, my God. Thing, but yeah. so good. 100%. No. Well, I'll be there, too. I mean, I love Dan. So, have yes, you ever been to one of these? I have not. We, we are another, again, just like us, we are pandemic friends. We've gotten Can I ask a quick, in the past year. a quick Lotka question? Yes, please. What's the heat? Heat, medium heat, high heat? Medium, medium high. You want to really just kind of like make sure that it's bubbling, but not like smoking. Okay, love that. Oh, paper lined. Oh my God, this looks so good. Yeah. There's nothing better than like just frying potatoes. Oh. In a... I can't wait oh for God. this dip to come together. Yes. Oh my God. As soon as it comes out, it, the dip is going to take like two seconds and it's my favorite because it was like the perfect thing for Shabbat because you could just make the caramelized onions in advance and then just stir it all together. Right. Okay. I think this is... Are you hot enough, Grace? I think. Uh, okay. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Uh-oh. I'll be using my old ass eggs. Yes. Oh my God, this one is shaped right. like a. No, know. that's the best part. The worst shape. Okay, the wait, worst, tell the me better. about the that heinous. What? That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. You're doing great. You're doing, you're Guys, doing so amazing. well. The best part are like the, the misshapen ones because they get super crispy and like okay. scraggly. I and love And then um, how long per side? You can just like dip it up and check. Okay. Two to three, two to three minutes, typically, okay. uh, depending. Okay. And it's it's truly as soon as it's golden, you flip. Once it's golden on the other side, you pull them. It's that simple. Okay, my dog keeps thinking that I'm gonna give him some potato. <laughs> no, Weenie, come here, Weenie. You should. Yeah, oh, I love you. Give him a little potato. Should I give him some breadcrumbs? Oh my god, I got latkes going. They're moving. Are you in Brooklyn, Jake? I'm in Queens, actually. I'm in Long Island City. Oh my god, amaze! How is it? I mean, it's the it's, it's both magical and garbage at the same time because you don't really get the beauty of the city. But I mean, I will say, like, I love my neighborhood. I love the takeout. I love the restaurants. I love everything. Yeah. And are you here, from here? Um, I am. I grew up in Queens. That's so amazing. Does the city you... feel like it's coming back to life gradually? No. I mean, yeah, yes, yes, but it's just like we're still a while away. I think yeah. there's, there's something still so sad thinking about all of the like restaurants that have closed and things yeah. like that. So we're, we're a little bit away, but I, I think I'm just like very excited for vaccine rollout and to be yeah. able to see people. That's the, the not being able to host people has like broken my heart. So I'm just yeah. not wait. Dude, isn't it crazy? Are you one of those people that like has a dinner like multiple times a week? 
I uh, I mean, th- to me, it was always like I would push it into Shabbat. So it like just okay. one and do- one and done. Everyone can come Friday. Okay. Every other day of the week, leave me alone. But yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that that's the vibe and like ball out, like crazy cheese boards, challah, dessert, oh. all this random so are you stuff. Make, are you is is Jewish food like your favorite type of food? I mean, yes and no. It depends on the mood. I mean, like, I've but gotten... Jewish food pulls in. That's Middle Eastern. That's everything. Exactly. All together. It's so broad. I could still eat Jewish food and be like having something different every night. I've also gotten very into fresh pasta in the pandemic. Oh, um, me too. Me too. It's just oh, like you lasagna. Put some, yeah. Making. Oh, any and like and then on the other side of it, like vodka sauce every other. Oh my god! Day. Every day. Yeah, I just I, I watch. There is nobody who has better like like videos that are like pleasing to the eye like than you. They're it's, yeah, like it's so true. hard to explain. They're just perfect. Like I just like they like make me like borderline horny because like the, <laughs> like, the way you do the avocado and shit. Yeah. The avocado is yeah. That's a, that's it. But it's like you know what? It, it always reminds me of bridesmaids in that scene where she like makes the cupcake, the super fancy cupcake, and then just takes yeah, exactly. it right out of it. Like that's literally me. Like I'm alone in my kitchen making pretty oh, avocado well. toast, and then just eating it. <laughs> that's so nice though. Oh, okay. These are looking. These are definitely crispy as hell. Crispy AF. That's what yeah. we want. Crispy is good. Crispy okay. Is great. You guys just are going to be so much in the whatever. <laughs> they're, they're all great. Diana, Diana. No Diana. Such... Diana, Diana. <laughs> There's literally no such thing as a bad one. Yeah, great. Okay, those they look all gorgeous. Look... look, mine is so sad. What do you mean they all No, look what do you mean? It's, it's, it's all good. They're, guys, they're no, all, also, I, so I like to... No, no, no. You're doing great, sweetie, first. And then second, like, I'm always, like, I want them dark. Like, I'm always, yeah, I, I'm like, dark. borderline... Borderline burnt, like to me, a little bit of burnt, <laughs> crispy edges into it. Uh, yeah, like I'm burning. So hot oil on myself. Oh yeah, but that's that's part of the the fun. Yeah, that's I good mean, for you. One of the things right. that my sister and I used to do growing up is we'd always have a bowl of applesauce that came straight from the fridge because you'd have to like you'd be burning your fingers with the hot latke and then you just shove it into the cold applesauce. To, I know. To cool it's really it off. cute to me. I want that way. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, I'm eating live. I'm so happy. Mm. And this is okay. it. This is like the life of just like frying lapkas with, with new friends on the internet. Yeah, what joy. Okay, this one. I realized my oil is too hot because it is in fact smoking. So I am turning it down a little, and I'm gonna. This is a lot. Like you get a lot out of three potatoes. You don't, again, people underestimate what happens. And at the end of the day, this is still like a, this is an amateur amount in the sense of like, this will make enough latkes for three people if you're not starving. Um, oh, guys. Did you taste? Right? I'm starting my second round of Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going home. Oh, oh I'm making God. I'm making big boys too. Mm. And for anyone who's just tuning in, we are cooking latkes oh, from yeah, my I new could, cookbook, I... Jewish with you guys. They're fucking delicious. Ow, shit! I did just burn myself so hard, but that's okay because Dianu. Wait, did you did it pop or what did you do? Did you stick your uh, finger in it? Yeah. No, you always use a spatula. You and then you flip it away from you. When you flip the lock up. All right, this is all a learning experience, and I'm grateful for the burn because this is one I will remember. <laughs> yeah. um, You're doing great. You're thanks. doing great. Thank you. Oh my. God. My family is so lucky. Truly, truly. Wait, Benny, are you from LA? Wait, hold on. I'm just doing. Benny's you from Virginia. Where are you from? I'm from, from Virginia. Virginia. I know I'm the only Jew ever to be in Virginia. Wow. There's never been another Jew in Virginia. Um, uh, but both my parents are from New York. Gotcha. So it's like New York, Virginia, same thing. Same thing. <laughs> my, a lot of ham. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Mm. I, the one part when I'm doing, I've, I've already, I'm not going to lie, I've eaten two latkes while we're doing it. We better hurry this thing up or I'm going to have to yeah, go yeah. 
Well, then we, we're going to make the dip. The dip takes two seconds. What we got to do is cut some chives and, and stir in some sour cream. Gracie, but like, how's, yours, how's yours going? Good over there? Really incredible. I'm just like focusing on learning. <laughs> burn yourself. Living, learning. My burn is bubbling already. I will report. What? Go put it under some cold water. Don't I'm be a so, hero. I'm strong. I'm too strong. Oh my Ooh. god. Battle That's scars. Cool. And then I, my favorite thing to do, guys, is I get out the little crispy bits that fell off. The like best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Chef snack. Hundred mm. percent. Um. Oops, I accidentally, Wait. like, oops, I have to comment to get this thing away. Hi, and I'm going to do a smiley face. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Benny, what That's was your bar mitzvah theme? Um, okay. So my bar mitzvah. I want to, I wish I could go to your. Wait, oh, what, what was, was yours, Gracie? What was mine? Yeah. I didn't have one. You didn't have a bar mitzvah? Bat no, mitzvah? I didn't. Painfully um, bad at being Jewish. No, you know, again, you get to choose your. Wait, how old are you, Gracie? Twenty-one. So you can do it. You could do a double, a double bat mitzvah at twenty-six. Really? Yeah. Uh, you could do whatever you want. My, my yeah, husband actually was in bar mitzvah, so we're gonna do an adult one for him. Okay, for I, his... my mom, who is the Catholic one, wants <clears throat> me and my brothers to do one together. I did a b'nai mitzvah with my sister. Did you love that experience? I did. Is she a twin? No, so she's a year younger, and in like typically, like girls will get their bat mitzvah at twelve, and boys thirteen. So it just works. Wow, I didn't know that. Even yeah, welcome to the real world, Gracie. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Feels so good. I'm what would your what, now now that you're an adult pop star? What would your theme be? <laughs> um, what would my theme be now? Probably like Ratatouille. Wow. Wow. Fire. Honestly, incredible. What was yours, Benny? Mine is so bad. Mine was magic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Not not magic like the card game. Magic like magician. Like That's I love that. So do you know what? Funny. Do you know what? Do you know what Dave's was? What? Dave is little dicky. His was the color blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't that the worst theme ever? Does he have, wow. have you seen like pictures from that? Yes, he looks disgusting. That's so funny. He's, what was yours, Jake? So it's super like I I hate talking about it just because it's just like we don't have, have you ever seen No no no. Have you ever seen Keeping Up with the Steins? Uh, no? It was this, yeah, it's this iconic movie with Daryl Sabara from Spy Kids where it's okay. Jeremy Piven is his father. It's like competing bar mitzvahs in LA. Um, and it's very much that energy because my sister and I had it was on a yacht that went around the Long Island Sound, so it was nautical yeah. themed, and every table was a different nautical movie. That's, That's crazy. So good. You're insane. My parents didn't let me keep any of the money from my bar mitzvah. <laughs> they literally was just like they literally said it costs a lot of money to have a bar mitzvah. And they took all the money and used it for the bar mitzvah. Whatever floats. There about, All right, right, what do I do with this sour cream? Am I late? Okay. You're already no, no, done? No. Yeah, it's true. I'm actually getting on to my, my Okay, penal. you guys do your thing. I'll catch up. I'm having a great time with my burn. No, we're doing <laughs> oh them all God. at the same time. We're we are we're in this together. We're all in the in the world of high school musical. Thank yeah. You. We're all in this together. Gracie <laughs> Gracie gets a little too nervous when she's cooking, I have noticed. Just relax, Gracie. We're on this. We're in this okay, together. well, I don't. I rarely cook with an audience, and so <laughs> you know. you're doing so well. A and then B. I have I have performance anxiety in every B, capacity. B. Everyone loves you on this chat the most, anyway. Truly, so. truly, truly. I get followed every time you comment on something of mine. I get followed by some kind of Gracie Stan account. That's hysterical. I'm sure that they're obsessed with your. They're um, obsessed with you. I mean, both of you are. That's why. All right, guys. Um, so who? Wait, who are your other favorite like food people? Oh uh, my god, I'm so yeah, excited you go for first. Molly Boz's cookbook. So we were talking. Oh wait, we were talking about you. She did one of the lives with me last week. Um, I watched. A few days. I didn't uh, catch it live, but I watched the. This is how frequently I watch your stuff. Dude. I literally <laughs> went and watched the live after it was an IGTV. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I, I love I, it. I've been a fan of her stuff 
for a while and I've always wanted to try her food and I am so excited for her book. Um, so that's just top of mind. Benny, who are you going to shout out? I'm literally, I already started making the next thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my God. I love so many chefs. Obviously, of course, my friend Maddie. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. I also love like Adelang. He's one of my favorites. I love Icon. Mike. I love Mike. Dude, I got to cook with, uh, cook for Adelang one time. I, wait, we, you understand when this is over, we're all going to Philly and having Mike cook for us at Zahav. Oh my God. Have you ever had Zahav? i have not in person. I've never been to Zahav. I mean, oh I've had his cooking. It's have like had everything this, he does. Have you had the Zynga? Yes. Oh my God. Dude. Iconic. Iconic. Be beyond, 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 beyond. Unreal. Um, yeah. I mean, I follow everyone. Like, I saw Ludo was in the chat earlier. That was very exciting to me. L love Ludo. I mean, you guys, you guys are all, you guys make my world tick. You know, this is like the stuff I, like, I literally stay up at night. Like, most people are, like, partying. I'm literally staying Benny up at night that. looking at, like, <laughs> pasta grannies is, like, my favorite thing to look at. Wait, I'm totally... I totally haven't been paying attention to uh, what the recipe actually is. And I'm just kind of doing it on my own. And I hope I'm doing it right. That's fine. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll work you towards that. We'll catch great. Gracie, how are you doing? You know, I'm doing very well. Um, I have another burn very similar to this one. And, <laughs> oh I, and I love it. So I'm actually like, some people get sad about that stuff. This is a fun memory with friends. For me. So I'm yeah, You're actually happy. Um, yeah, I'm like, I love the pain. We are okay. so fucking good. It's crazy. Yeah, this is this is really stupid how delicious these are. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, so what have you done, Benny, so far for the I, day? I, I like just saw the ingredients and I'm assuming you mix in chives and yep. caramelized onions and yogurt. Or, I mean, sour cream. Sorry, sour, sour cream. Sour cream, but you could do Thanks, yogurt like if you wanted. Sour cream, and then am I supposed to put in lemon zest and salt? Lemon zest and salt, and some pepper. If you want to like spice it up with some chili flakes, you can. You got. You have my blessing. Ooh, I want you that. I'm gonna do that right now. It's great. Oh, do you know what? I actually feel like you guys would love this product. Not to like, just because I feel like knowing you. Have you yeah. heard of this thing called Holy Chili? No. It's everything bagel chili oil. Oh my god. What? Uh, we'll connect. I'll have her send to, send to you because y'all need it. And so, and then you she does everything bagel furry cake too. Uh, oh my god, that's so good. Have you ever used Fly by Jane? Oh my so god, good. so that's good. It. Especially it's like when you perfect. put it over a little vanilla ice cream. Oh it my god, I know. Have, beyond. Have, really? It, it, yeah, it's insane on sweet stuff. Have you ever seen? Do you use the S and G, like the literal, like bad, like, like, uh, Oh my the, God, the... I have two of these in my, <laughs> in my thing. Love you it. Have you tried this? B? Do you use S and B's? No. I've had that one too. Blake oh my God. It's one. a crunchy garlic topping. Did it Stefan will... get you that? No, no, no. I, I've, I've been on it. Oh. I've, I've been like, on it. It's like one of my favorite things. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. This, this all looks so good. Uh, okay, I'm getting super close to being where you guys are. Oh, shit. Okay, no this more burns. No more burns, yeah. No and, now, and now, let's look at, let's look at yours. Let me see what yours looks like. Show me how yours looks. Are you talking I to wanna Jake? See, I want to see what the sauce looks like that we're making. Oh, the sauce. Okay, let me, I got a dump. I got a dump and stir. It's one of those things where I just love onion onion dip i like even like the, like the gross like packet onion me, dip to me i love onion dip love Never so made it. Yo, this tastes insane <laughs> i'm so Thank jealous you. and i'm only like gonna be there in five seconds i'm jealous Yo. you're you're gonna be right behind and it's gonna be it's My just so quality is food jealousy I think. this is the best dip i've ever had Oh, you're too sweet. Like this is this you're making my making my launch day. No, I can't guys, this is literally the best gift I've ever had in my entire life. I want to rub this all over my body. I want someone to take then, shots out of my belly button with this. It's <laughs> insane. <laughs> I'm okay, putting yeah, more onions in because the onions taste so good. I just want to put all of them. In. <laughs> oh, that's what I do. I put all of them in. 
I'm literally just pouring the rest of the onions in this. So like this is what it should be like oniony. Yeah, yeah. A little that's flex fine. of green and then I'll throw in a little lemon and oh, some okay. salt. Okay. Oh, are you guys, gonna throw in a little guys, lemon, look. not just the zest? You can if you want. I find that the zest is enough for just a little acidity. Perfection. Like oh my god. You like you it? might as well yes. Okay. You're a regular Thanks. You're a Hanukkah pro. You're gonna oh be so God. ready. This is insane. When you do huh? Shabbat in typical times with like gatherings with other people, did, is it potluck style or do you like take over? So I take over typically, but if, oh, if someone if someone can be trusted, I will expedite yeah. a specific thing. For example, yeah. your job clearly would be to bring cookies. Um, yeah, I would love to do that if I'm allowed. Of course. I mean, okay, I love I'm throwing love. one little thing in. I'm throwing a little bit of my chili garlic stuff. Do it's so it. Good. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. It's That's so one of my favorite things about cooking. And I think that they're like, there are people who are either into it or not into it. But I, I don't like to, I don't own anything. I like to put out my shit into the world and people can do with it as they please. And I That's love when people like take, take my recipes and like, make it work for them and tweak it and have fun with like stirring in weird shit like to me that's everything i love that okay let's see i'm this is my last guide i definitely made these like a little bit whatever i mean I'm, they taste amazing i'm not mad <laughs> uh, okay okay and, uh, i'm like kind of ready okay so sour cream Sour cream, chives, chives and oh, the onion mixture. Onion mixture. Okay. So. Oh, Benny's gone. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> like more attention for me. Okay, let's I see. Love... Are you fully done? Did you add? Um, did you top it? Have you topped it with this dip before? So sometimes I'll reserve some like just chives to put on top. Oh, you mean put the dip on the latkes? That's yeah. the that's the pro move. I'm that so is excited. it. Oh, here's Benny. Benny's back. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh wow! I'm back. Hello. What did I miss? She's making the dip. This dip is so good. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Mm. Okay. I'm honestly so shook that you made the cabbage recipe. It, I just felt it, like that, I, I feel like people are like not as big into cabbage, and I fucking love cabbage. Cabbage is my favorite thing in the world, maybe. I just made my first cabbage dish recently, and so now I'm super on that wave, and I'm I'm yours probably. What was your, what cabbage dish did you make? Andy Barangani's Barangani his yeah. uh, the stuffed cabbage rolls. No, actually. Oh no no the um the the wedges oh, the, the yeah. melted yeah yeah yeah. I yeah, love yeah. a stuffed cabbage roll. I'll tell you that much. What is that about? Do you like oh, blanch God, the leaves stuff. and then you stuff it with like meat and rice and roll it into a little pocket and then you like bake it in tomato sauce. I also I do like. Gracie, I'll show you really, I do like Japanese ones, like with Napa cabbage and I steam it like in the Danabe. And so it's like, mm. for, like really healthy stuff too. I'll show you some. I do, you can like chop up fish and put it in and it makes like, it's like a little egg roll basically. I want that immediately. Oh my, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I put a little bit of the garlic stuff in and I also may, may or may not have added a little bit more lemon because I love lemon so much. Go for it. Oh my god, I'm like manhandling this sour cream. Oh god. Guys, the... I just oh. found something my buddy gave me as a treat. I got vodka. I got some caviar. That's just... what that's one of my favorite toppings. When I actually throw Hanukkah parties, I do a like my my last Hanukkah party, which was now two years ago, was a huge platters of latkes and then like creme fraiche and apple yes. sauce and caviar. And then, yeah, and I do lox too. Like, Ooh, so you can fuck yeah. It. Dude, okay, this we have to have, I want to do Shabbat. You have no idea how ready I am. It is going to be beyond, beyond, beyond. I'm, I'm ready to assemble my latke. I am as well. Gracie, okay, how well, you doing? I <laughs> 
<laughs> Gracie is stirring, but you, again, the stir takes two seconds. You're doing great, Gracie. You're right behind. We're with you. Gracie is having slight yeah, no, technical difficulties. Oh my God. Look at that latke. I am telling you, like, I do not get why people don't make latkes like every other week. Or every day. What? Can I see what your step looks like, you guys? Yeah. Boom. Oh, great. Okay. I was worried that mine was too pale, but I'm still. No, it's just oh, you got I a nice little beige. Stuff. Yeah, I put like crazy stuff on mine, so. You're going to do whatever you like. You're putting caviar on top of onion dip on top of latkes. You're having a I party. know. It's like people would be so mad at me. No one's going to be mad at you. I'm mad that I'm mad. That's why I'm mad. Guys, I'm about to make a crazy one real quick. <laughs> well, my favorite thing, the thing that people got mad about, I don't know why, but my favorite is to take the latkes and then put them on to bacon, egg, and cheeses in the morning. Oh, oh my God. The best. The best. How it's like, it's like, last like i had extras like just so they're never they're never like gonna be as good as they are right now oh betty gosh. that is literal art truly I'm taking, I'm taking a bite right now beyond 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 so gracie latkes you gotta have them fresh next yeah. day you can repurpose them so that's why it's like sandwiches mm. breakfast burritos anything where it's like doesn't need to be like crispy 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 yeah 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 Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. Let's see. Guys. Wait, you. Oh, wait. I'm gonna. Uh, come. This is the greatest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Wait, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. This dip is stupid. I have to go home. I have to go home. Okay, I'm gonna add a little lemon. I didn't mm. add enough yet. Mmm. You ever do lemon juice or only lemon zest? No, oh, you yeah, do juice, juice too. Juice. Okay. I did juicy. Oh my god, that's insane. Benny's had like the greatest food week. Wait, what, what else? You've had the best food week. I know. What were your other food highlights this week? Um, I had. I tried courage bagel for the Ooh. first time. Um, I have. Carbone. Some of them. Oh, are I did see that. I saw. I saw. I saw the spicy rigatoni, and I saw the, yes. the, the rainbow cookie. Is is very recognizable. I did a taco day, like a full day, of like going to all my favorite taco places. Like when you're in LA, I'll take you. Like you go mm. to like East Los and Compton, and we go to like people's backyards, and they cook, and it's 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 truly like breathtaking. Like some of the food, and then. Um, I've been, I've, dude, I've been eating like a madman. Usually I eat like steamed vegetables and like fish. Yeah. yeah how, how, very how, how do you stay in shape? I mean, it's like this, I'm, I'm up at like 5.30. I'm having Cody Rigsby scream at me on my Peloton. It's like, okay. You like Cody? I mean, of course, I mean, I'm a gay man. Every I gay man. I did like, Cody's 20 minute hit today. I did too. It was so good. You did that one today? Yes. Oh my God. That makes me feel like, I'm mean, maybe that's normal. Like, I'm not a super frequent Peloton offline, user. We'll share, we'll share screen names offline. Is that mm. doable? And then you can become friends with people on there? Uh, yeah. Mm. I mean, I like to, because then I like to see who's taken what rides. But mainly oh. it's like, it doesn't really, the instructor is second to the playlist. I've gotten really uh -huh. into Sam Yo. His playlists okay. are very good. No. And I, I mean, I love Leanne Hainsby, mainly because yep. I'm just invested in the fact that she's in a relationship with Ben Aldis. And it's kind of like. Okay, that, I remember, because my parents, one, I forget whether it was my mom or my dad, but it was like, there are two instructors that have the same home and just see through the live. <laughs> So, aware of I love I love learning about this, guys. Tell me more. <laughs> it, it is a cult. It's truly it's a modern cult. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm it, so it is. It's strange. Like when you come out of a ride and you feel like they really were just personally talking to just you the whole time, and it's like, <laughs> oh no, there are actually sixty thousand people who also feel that way. And they're giving well, like, like sermons. Are people like famous? 
No, they're like, a lot of them are people who either want to be like actors or have been like fitness people. And they literally are giving sermons. So they're like, they're doing this ride being like, you got this. What's standing in your way today? Like all of these things that just like, I don't know, it, it just people, as organized religions on the decline, people love to throw their faith into something else. But like, are you like, are like, are you like, if you saw like one of these people in the street would be like, oh my God, that's so and so. I would. Yeah, I, yeah. If I saw Cody Rigsby, I'd, I'd, I'd tackle him to the ground. Yeah, I shit my pants. <laughs> Is Cody Rigsby hot? Yes. Yeah. But hey, also, Cody. it's just like, it's, it's like it's, one of those things where these are all people that I think it's very intimate when you're like sweating and working out in the same way, like when I used to go to Equinox, like the instructors, like just like a random class, like everyone just like fawns over the instructor because they're so funny. What's, they're the, what's the guy's position. name? Cody? Cody, Cody Riggs. Rigsby. We'll, we'll right, add Cody, him into the group you're next listening. time. Tony, if you're listening, I hope we, we'd love to put this caramelized dip all in between those cheeks of yours. <laughs> and we, and I, I'd like him to squeeze it and form the latkes for us. I gotta, Iconic. See, this. Iconic. I gotta see this man. He's just also like the most, I hate uh, working out and he makes me like forget that. Um, I love how you act like you know this guy. In my head, we are super close. That's We're it. That's it. I feel like I feel like it, it's going to be so hard post pandemic because people are just going to go up to everyone, acting like we're friends. There's so many people on the internet that it's like you're going to have a lot. How does that? Feel? I mean, I I love it because it's. I mean, typically it's in like situations where like we're at restaurants or things like that. Yeah. I'm actually. I've been, it, I've gotten to this point now in the pandemic where I've kind of crossed the threshold because I used to be somewhere where I was just like, oh, come to Shabbat or, or I'd be like very open, very things like that. A yes. thing happened the other month where like, I'm always posting stories high and, and like someone would DM me and like, oh my God, I make the best edibles. Please let me come drop off edibles. Uh -huh. I was like, sure. And like, I'm taking it with my family. We're all like having a great time. And, and my sister's just like, you understand that like, you can't be taking edibles from strangers anymore like we're at this point now where you're like that's a no now um psychotic and i'm emotional i know i know i mean it's it's 9 50 here i'm gonna be eating this whole bowl of dip and that's that's the ideal launch day for my cookbook oh, can you believe benny that we're on the day that the book launched? I mean, I feel like maybe the most special person in the world. Me too. Uh, I feel like the most special. I have both of you here. Stop it. Really? I love it. Stop it. I'm getting excited. What's your favorite dessert in the book? So I would say it's honestly since Passover's coming and it's like good for just year round. Yeah. But the thing that probably has shook people the most are the macaroon brownies. I was gonna say I'm the most excited to make. They're just wow. so good. It's funny because the, my brownies are what I became famous for at the Shabbats because I needed like a dessert for when I was doing the, like the big ones. Um, I like needed something that wouldn't just break me. So I started making these like sheet pan brownies and just like walking them around at the end of the night and like hit. I'm telling you one day that's gonna be like my Tate's cookie. Like all of everything else I'm doing, garbage. That's gonna be the money maker of the brownies. So I wanted to do some kind of nod to that in the book yeah. and chocolate coconut. Oh, oh my God. I yeah. like. Augie, my little brother is right here. Can he make a guest appearance and eat one of these? Of course. Okay. Augie, I want it. One of these. Okay. This, this is Jake. He is the mastermind. Uh, hello. My nice little brother. Here. Okay. Oh my, I've never even met him. You haven't? He no. Was... We've met once. Oh, you met at Carrie's bar mitzvah. Yeah, but it was like the most, it was the most meat, not meat. It was for like three <laughs> seconds. That doesn't count. Sorry. How insane. Mm. He's smiling and nodding, and that's a pretty extreme reaction from We love it. A team. We love it. Um, yeah, this is psychotic. This is pretty you. psychotic. You're welcome. My mom is texting me about this live while I'm on with oh, the my live. Dad. 
That's I true. love that. Can we add her in? Does she no, want to come? Sit we're not <laughs> adding my my mother doesn't know. My mother doesn't know anything. She doesn't. My mom like like she doesn't understand like that you can get a message like. Oh my God, Katie Kirk's here watching. Hi, Katie. Oh, oh my God. Wait, maybe we, maybe Katie can come in. Katie, this here. is crazy. Let's see if she wants to come say hi. Katie doesn't um, want in. Yeah. Katie, doesn't, <laughs> Katie doesn't want this jelly. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Um, but yeah, wow. I mean, it, it's it's something that is just such a fun, fun project because like all of these recipes are just like memories of different Shabbat I hosted, That's which so is special. like the best. Okay, I, I'm, I, I get it, but I want to come to one of these Shabbats. I don't you, give a shit I'm about telling you, you I'm telling you, we are going to throw the most special. You mm -hmm. get to pick the entire menu. It's, it's, we're going to throw, you know what it'll be? It'll be Gracie's Bat Mitzvah Shabbat. <gasps> oh, my God. Stop. See, and now you we can do, have to do it, or you're going to Now we have to do it. And, and do you know what you got to do, Gracie? What? A rhyming candle lighting ceremony. Oh, my God, I'll do anything you say. What are you that talking is, about? You say you're like you're like Uncle David. Come like candle number three. <laughs> but it's like it's like like all my friends are camp from camp are so much fun. Guys, please yeah. come help me right, like candle number one. Like that's it. Yeah. That is the moment. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god, now I'm excited. Not now that you're I gonna start studying. Now I'm just like thrilled. Uh, okay. Yo, this dip. Uh, honestly, yeah. like I'm not fucking around. This tip from from the smell of it, like as I walk by, is so unbelievable. It's like intoxicating how good this is. It is, and and it's funny because like the latkes are the perfect kind of combo for it. Because like in the book, I really wanted it to be as luxe as possible. No crudite, just potato chip. Oh like it's just dip. Oh my it's god. It's insane. I'm literally gonna. I'm literally going to spread this on everything. It's going to be my new thing to put on everything. Everything. This like, what else like, do you put? What else have you put this on in your life? That's so, not not a human body part. Truly, it's actually really good if you just rub it on chicken and roast it wow. like that. That's really. I want to put this in like a salad, a little. I want to. You could also use this. You what you do is you boil potatoes and then you make use this for like potato salad as like the dressing. Oh my god! It, it, it's, yeah. it's truly the best thing I've ever tasted. This is making me feel like you're gonna make me cry. I'm very, very, very tired. With chicken, that'd be so insane. Mm. <laughs> this is crazy. I am so so honored that y'all joined me tonight for. A little Wonka party. Us. Congratulations. Like, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, did you think you were going to be doing this? Like, did you think this was going to be your life and you were going to put out a fucking cookbook? Like, no. It, it, it just, I mean, it's, I think you could, you say the same, like, did you expect to be, did both of you expect to be such huge stars? Yes. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. It, it's one of those things that since we're in a pandemic, since I can't see people, it's like, why not turn it out, have some fun, make this book a hit and try to try to have everyone be part of the party. It's amazing. Everything you're doing has like made like I know it's so corny, but like it like really makes my like I look forward. I know. To waking up and like seeing what you're going to post and seeing what you're going to do. Yeah. And like it's like food, music, all these things, they really move people at a time like this. And like, I just want to let you know, like what you're doing is like touching me on like a level, yeah. like all jokes aside, like seriously, and it's incredible and you should keep it up and it's fucking amazing. And you're the best. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank I, you. I second all of that. I mean, Benny and I talk about you frequently. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very frequently. often. Hmm, it's I a am, little weird. I am honored, honored, honored. The feeling is a hundred percent mutual with the music and the joy it brings to my life. Um, and I'm just so happy that you, you came to hang out. And I can't wait until we get to do this in person. I can't I wait for this. my bar mitzvah. I, I can't wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, well, um, I love you both. I hope you have sweet dreams. And I hope you s celebrate in w whatever and always you can. Thank it's you. amazing. Thank you. you guys are I both great. Love you guys. Love you. I'm going you. to eat the rest of these. Love. Bye. 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 I don't even know how to say